All right. Hello, Lara. Hello, Shannon. <laughs> I'm so happy you are here today. I'm so happy to be here. Oh my gosh. I miss seeing you so much in person. I miss seeing you so much in person too. It's the wonderful doing bar to hear your voice regularly. There's just something about you that comes right through that camera and it makes uh, me feel so much better. Thank you. It's also the addition of a good mic. <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't think it was coming through until I got the mic situation. Uh, okay, so um, I am trying to explain to people and help them understand what I do because it's so varied and so wide and I'm constantly learning and progressing and changing um, the way that I work and, and the groups of people that I work with. And so I'm reaching out to the people that I love to work with and um, hoping that their stories will help other people um, know what I can do for them. So, uh, Lara has been with me at my studio since I opened practically uh, three and a half years ago. Yep. And um, let, can you tell me about that? You were brought by a friend. I, I was brought by a friend, my friend Erin, um, and I am so glad that I decided to go. She had us do just a bar three session at another friend's house once. And I thought, oh my God, I, this is so hard. I, I'm, I felt uncoordinated and um, I felt like it just wasn't, it wasn't gonna work for me. So when she said, well, come my friend Shannon, I do this with bar um, at the Y, she's opened her own studio. And I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't know. And I went and honestly, I've never had that experience at a workout class. I've been to multiple workout classes. I've been, I've done videos before. I've done all kinds of things and there's nothing like what you offer and you were helpful from the get-go and non-judgmental. And um, I think, I think, I think we just clicked right away. Number one. And the, the, the environment that you had created when you walk in the door, it was just welcoming and I could feel the loving kindness. So it, it just made it so much easier. And we laughed and we had a good time. Right. Um, so tell me, so you have a really challenging job. And when you came in, you had a lot of pain in different areas of your body that we have been working on consistently to downtrain certain muscles and uptrain other muscles. Uh, to create just better mobility and um, strength in your body. You want to tell um, everyone that's listening a little bit about what you came in with and um, where you are now. That'd be great. Absolutely. I was thinking about that this morning. Um, when I came in, we did that. Uh, you had a questionnaire that I filled out of like, all, like the goals that I had in mind, um, where I was, what, like the pain that I had, all, all the things. And it was fantastic because thinking about it now, I can remember several of the things that, uh, oh, where good. I had pain and several of my goals. Um, and I've, I've hit the ones that were really important to me. And the one that stands out is the um, climbing those three flights of stairs every night and not being winded at the top. I'm, yes. I mean, granted, it's been several months since I've been at work. Um, but prior to that, it was, it was no big deal. It was, I could totally do this and get a workout all at the same time. I can, now that I know what muscles to use to engage to take those stairs, I can totally do that. Um, but so I am, um, I'm a server at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse and I work in the Bellevue location. And there are three flights of stairs between the bar where you have to go to get everybody's drinks and where the main dining room is. <laughs> and uh, Crazy setup. Know, it is the most bizarre setup. I honestly have no idea what they were thinking, but that's what we have. So that's what we deal with. Um, I, um, I had struggled my whole life with lower back pain and have never really known what to do to make it go away. I just thought, all right, I'll just eat Advil like they were red hots. And oh, God. eventually, eventually, you know, the pain will go away. And yes, the Advil builds up in your system, but now I'm killing my liver at the same time. So that was not, not a safe way to be. Um, 
the floor, every job I've ever had at every location I've ever had has been a concrete floor. So my feet suffered, my heels suffered immensely. At the end of every shift, my heels would be on fire with pain shooting up my heels. Um, I had forgotten about the, the heel pain. That's been a long time since I've heard you even mention that. I'd forgotten. Because there isn't any anymore. So like, I don't, I mean, I still have my wedges. Um, I think it's been it's been months. It's been months and months since I've had to use those wedges. Um, like easily nine months, I, honestly. I, and, and I meant, I should have told you that things had gotten better and progressed to the point where I didn't need those anymore. Um, um, but yeah, the, the, the back pain, um, I, I don't eat Advil like candy anymore, so that's a bonus. I actually, I can't even remember the last time I took Advil. Um, a lot of that was weight. I uh, um, carried around a little extra poundage after birthing babies. Um, but I think it was also um, just those compensatory patterns that you're always talking about where um, – like your body just takes over using muscles to make it feel better, even though, or to make it work, to help you get through it. Um, yeah. And I just had way, way too many of those. You mentioned something the other day in class and you said um, that you hope people take your voice out into the world and hear, hear you throughout their day. And that is, that is how it is for me now. As soon as I feel something go wrong in my body, um, I say, stop doing what you're doing. Figure out where you're, what muscles are supposed to be working and make those muscles work for you. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So, and obviously it's been months, obviously, since I've been at work, but that applies to everything. That applies to taking those three flights of stairs. I'm now using, engaging my glutes every single time I take a stair. Um, doing a, a, an appropriate bend. <laughs> what do we call it? The, but I'm hip hinging when I lean over to pick up those monstrous trays. I'm engaging, yes, my, my bicep muscles, which I actually have now. Um, and my back and my lats in order to lift the tray up. I'm hearing your voice constantly reminding me which muscle I'm supposed to be using and what muscles I'm not supposed to be using. But that took, that took three and a half years to figure that one out. <laughs> right. It takes, it's, um, I think that people come into any kind of class and they think I'm going to make my body do this like that. And it does not work that way. We are dealing with the brain. We're dealing with the nervous system. We're dealing with past traumas. We're dealing um, with just, there's so many aspects. And then, and then you have to think about it. You have to like convince your body to allow new things to happen in it. And that takes time, years of time. And, um, and then, you know, when, when you have been so dedicated to come every, every week, multiple times a week, that's how we've been able to do this. And now, of course, with COVID, we're doing it online right. uh, and we're still continuing, but it is definitely not a quick fix, but so worthwhile, so yeah. worthwhile to change it and move freer and feel better. Absolutely. 100%. I, um, the, the sad moment of my life that told me I needed to make a change, which it wasn't amazingly enough, the fact that I was eating the light candy, it was, um, I was, I was sitting on the toilet and I couldn't physically get my muscles to pick myself up. Oh. I had to use the tub on one side and the sink countertop on the other to push myself up. And I thought, all right, there's something wrong. And it's not even that I was over, overweight. I think I was probably still in what I guess they would call the, um, your range for your age and your height or whatever. I was probably in that range just on the higher end, but I had no muscle. I had no tone. I had no ability to, to know. Um, well, I think, and let me just interject something. Um, it wasn't just that you had no tone. You had certain areas that were overtoned and because you had been com compensating. And so in that moment, those hypertoned muscles were so exhausted 
that they were like, forget it, lady. We're done. We're not even going to lift you out of here. And then the other muscles that were underworking were like, I don't know how to engage. So she's just stuck. I did about that. Um, and I think that that's, um, that's, that's something that I want people to know is that the way that I work it, it's not, it's not like you're coming in to take a fitness class because that's not what I'm teaching. I am teaching you to connect to your body, become aware of what's happening so that when you go out into the wider world, you'll, you'll be able to really utilize your body well, because it's not about what you can do in a hour long class. It's not about that. In a, in a lot of places you go in and, and you learn to do the exercises and you're really, really good at those exercises in that class for that hour. And then what? You go out into the world and you make the same mistakes with your body that you've been making for 20, 50 years, whatever it is. Um, I want to help you get better in your body so that you can just go out and human better, <laughs> right? Be a better human in your body all the time. Um, right. so it's just a very different twist to right. what I offer, I think. And that is that the perfect example of that is, and I never knew, um, the, the banana foot we do, the exercise where we're on the, the foam the dome, the half dome. Mm -hmm. half dome. Yeah. And we make our ankles do banana foot to sim simulate in our mind what it would be like when you trip off the curb or sprain your ankle on a hike. And mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many times, I mean, two dozen hands worth of times um, where I just be walking or monkeying around with the kids or step off the curb and wham, there goes my ankle. And I just pick it right back up and I'm like, oh, all right, no big deal and keep walking. And it's like <laughs> a, second of, a second of, damn, that hurt to, oh, that's no big deal. I can do that. And just keep yes. on walking because that's what I just trained my body how to do every day in class is banana foot. I'm out, I'm in, I'm out, I'm in, I'm out, I'm in. My body understands that that's not a moment to screech at the top of your lungs and twist completely out of kilter and it's just a, a blip and back up and off we go so it's been a while since it's happened but when it does i'm always thankful in that like it's it, the seconds tick by in super slow motion and in my mind i'm like oh that hurts okay no nope, wiggle it step okay you're good wow that was no big deal <laughs> I love that. So because in the work that we're doing, we are also training the nervous system, which is the gatekeeper to all of that. And so when we teach the nervous system that it's safe in this particular position, then the nervous system thinks it's no big deal. Laura does this all the time. And so then you walk on your way. Uh, but I love that you bring that up. That's beautiful because that's exactly how I want it to be out in the real world, real world exercises. Right. All, all of the things. Um, Sitting down, standing up. I mean, yes, I knew I had glutes. I understand that there's a muscle there, but they have a higher purpose. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not just to look cute in a pair of pants. Although that's nice. That, that is really nice. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they're, they're really important. They're super important. Yeah. No idea that they were that important and that they did that much work. Because, or, should be. or should be doing that much work, right. Um, what about, um, the, one of the things, I actually am curious about this myself, because um, I love to help um, women love their bodies. And so I would love to know, and I talk about this all the time in class, like, has, has your body image and the way that you react to your body and the way that you look at your body in the mirror, has that changed at all for you in the past? Few years I love my body now I see um, I see so much more muscle definition um, definition that I haven't had since I was 17 and on the swim team you know I mean like I let myself go and I got myself back and I got myself back better so um, yeah muscle definition muscle tone, like I can see things now, I can feel things. Um, I guess, let me, let me go back and say, when I started with you, it just in that first two months, I dropped, do you remember I told you I dropped 14 pounds in that first two months? Oh, wow, I'd forgotten that. 
so it wasn't until maybe like a year ago, maybe a little bit more than that, that I really started to say, okay, yes, you've got muscle definition now, you're feeling stronger, you're taking those stairs and it's not bothering you, your aches and pains are starting to go away. Now let's really see what you can do with this. You've got the tools, you've got support, um, see how far you can go. And then that's when the last like 21 pounds, I think I'm probably, well, like I said, I haven't weighed myself. I'm 30, at least 35 pounds gone. And wow. from a size 14 to a size eight. Wow. Yeah. So I feel phenomenal about my body. I'm so proud of how much work I did and so grateful for all the support that you gave me to be able to do that. And the things that you showed me to be able to do that and make that possible. Um, ah, all right. Well, anything else you'd like to share? Um, the movements that you do, some of them are just so, so subtle. So subtle. And they work. Like the, 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 and again, I always know when it works because I feel it later. <laughs> um, but just, it works. And it, it's not about, um, and I don't think that people understand this. It's not about multiple repetitions. I don't have to do three sets of something in order to achieve a goal. I don't have to do 20 pound bicep curls. I can make my three pounds feel like 20 pounds. And that stuff never occurred to me until I came to you and you said, you said all those things. Said that. So I just, every time you do some new thing and you say, oh, I just, I just created this in, in my mind while I was going to sleep the other night. And then you start this new routine with this <laughs> new thing. And I'm like, oh, good Lord, here we go. But it, it works. Subtle, being aware of your body. Um, it just, it just is. You, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Um, it just works. And I know that it works because I've seen it. I've seen it in the fact that I actually have muscles now. Uh, I and love I, that. I can see them, physically see them. And I always wanted that. So that's why I love your class, because it's results. Okay, thank you so much. Can I finish? Can I ask? So um, I'm asking everyone that I'm interviewing this, this uh, last piece. Okay. Um, can you say it and then finish the sentence? Coming to class with Shannon is. <laughs> um, just coming to class with Shannon is so hard to put into words. I have all the feelings. Um, gosh. I don't know. It's it's uh, just such an, a welcoming, kind, um, giving environment. The the place that you created, the space that you created, um, your personality, how much we laugh. Um, no, I hash. I wish I would have been prepared for that one. Um, I just love it. It makes my day. It really does to be able to start my day with you that way and then to go out into the world with all those feelings of love and kindness put into me. Um, it's just awesome. Like I know coming to class with Shannon is um, a welcoming hug. I feel it the minute I walk in the door. And I get my hug, which I miss.